Are you a work at home mom that's been looking for some revolutionary apps and tools to help you stay organized both in your home, with your kids, and in your business? Well, that's what we're going to dive in today, so I hope you stick around. Hey there, amazing work at home moms. Thank you for joining us here at the Mom Desk Club. My name is Laurel and you are here at my desk. We're going to just have a quick little coffee break as we get ready to dive into all things work at home mom related. And I'm really excited to jump into this topic with you today. This season, we have been discussing all things working at home with toddlers, which is quite the circus, let me tell you. And I have got plenty of experience with plenty of toddlers. So I am right here in the trench trenches with you. I am not just looking back on this as some, you know, 20, year, 20 years ago, I used to do this. No, no, I'm right here with you doing it on the daily. But today, what we're going to jump into is some apps and tools that I think are going to be really helpful for you as a work at home mom, both to keep you organized and keep you sane. Because let's be real, sometimes you just need a little extra help and being a modern mom has some huge advantages. So let's jump in and find some tools that are really going to help make your life a lot easier and hopefully actually keep you looking at your phone less because let's be real, that's helpful. <laughs> First, I wanna start off with just keeping things really simple. I think sometimes we make things so overcomplicated when we're thinking about apps to keep our life organized, when a lot of times some of the most basic apps work amazingly. So one of the things I utilize a lot is my calendar app. I'm sure you do as well. There are so many amazing strategies for keeping your calendar app organized, whether you're using colors or you know a different color for different types of activities, important, non-important, different family members. There's so many different ways to organize your calendar, but just using the basic calendar on your phone can be so simple when keeping things organized with appointments and deadlines and all that kind of stuff. You can get fancy, you can use really fancy apps, but sometimes just using the basic calendar app on your phone can be so streamlined. Another app that I feel like goes really unrecognized in these types of videos is the Notes app. I use my Notes app all the time, specifically because it stretches between all of my devices, whether it's my laptop, my iMac, or my iPhone, I can use my Notes app across all of them. I really like the fact that I can use a checklist in that app, and I can also share the app with my husband if I need to send him a shopping list or a to-do list or if I need to make notes on things. Heck, we even use it for making lists of baby names. So Notes app is super helpful and I feel like it goes really unrecognized. Now, of course, there's always the actually really cool apps that are some really fantastic tools for a mompreneur who's looking to streamline her processes. You can use Asana and Trello and To-Do List and the Cozy Family app, which I've heard a lot of really great things about. All of those apps can be amazing tools if you feel like trying to set them up and get them streamlined for your lifestyle. Sometimes I really struggle with getting things customized for me because I think I overthink it a lot. But if you have, are really tech savvy or you enjoy using apps to keep yourself organized, these are some really great ones that you can check out to help keep your life a little bit more organized, whether it's on the personal side, the business side, your family side, whichever, even for home, you could keep your chore list and your task lists, even if they are more more repetitive as a way to keep reminding yourself what's coming up. All right, so now I want to jump into a few apps for kids that I think are super helpful. Before I jump into that though, I do wanna make a minor clarification that I don't really like using apps with my children. Now, I realize that that might be completely controversial and every family is going to handle this differently. I am a total failure of a millennial mom when it comes to utilizing technology because I just don't like it. I would much rather my children have some really solid toys to play with and try to entertain them that way than to try to keep them busy with apps and technology and devices and tools. It's just not my thing. I think that there's plenty of room for it in a person's life. I just can't seem to get on board with it. That being said though, there are a few apps that have become very helpful that I have kept in my tool belt for the last several years that have been super helpful. One of the apps that is a go-to is called the Animal Sounds app. I really like the way that you can lock your phone up. That's the first thing. Google how to do this based on your own device. You really need to be able to lock your device so that they can't be wandering around and responding to emails and texts and deleting photos. Oh my word, this is such a headache when kids start doing this. So figure out a way to lock your phone. I know on my iPhone, I have it set up to where you triple click the home button. 
um, the side button and it will allow you to draw boxes around areas that you're going to lock up. So I utilize that a lot when I'm trying to keep my child just in that one app. The Animal Sounds app is super fun. The only thing that would make it better is if it told you the name of the animal with the sound. That way your kid is actually learning two things at once. But either way, my kids know a lot of animal sounds and a lot of animals, and that makes it a lot of fun. It works for all the kids because it's such a simple app once you block off the ads that even the baby can operate it. So sometimes if he's just really having a hard time in the car or something like that, you can use it as a distraction. We've also used it as a distraction to keep kids awake in the car as well, because let's be real, they all have a tendency to fall asleep five minutes from the house. So if I can use an app to keep them awake for just five more minutes until we get home so I can put them down for a nap, it saves a lot of hassle. <laughs> some other apps that I really enjoy are the Mashi app. It tells some really fun little stories. We've utilized this at different periods of our life. It has become very helpful. Other times we don't use it as much, but it's one that I keep in my back pocket um, because there are some free stories that you can listen to, or there is a yearly subscription that really wasn't that bad if it's something that your kids really end up liking. There's a bird song app that is really cool where kids can learn about bird sounds and um, that is really fun as a way to kind of encourage learning in your children without just handing them an educational app. And then a couple other apps that we've utilized are the white noise app. Now this is completely bizarre, but we utilize this for nap time. So sometimes it can be really helpful to have just some background white noise um, if your kids are trying to fall asleep and you're not in your regular environment. More so than not, we use it if our power goes out because <laughs> we do have sound machines but sometimes the power goes out and you need a backup. So that's where we generally use it, but we have used it in the car. We've used it when we have to go over and stay with somebody for an afternoon or for the evening. Um, so that is an app that is very helpful and maybe you hadn't thought about it, but it'd be really helpful for you. And then there's also some different coloring page apps, which I feel like for me is a little out there, but it is one that I keep as a backup in case kids are just really starting to have a hard time. It's fun to color on your phone. I used to do that as a kid with paint back, you know, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth of technology. But either way, it can be a lot of fun to have a couple coloring apps. Sometimes you just need to have a couple tools installed on your phone for moments when things start to get really crazy. Maybe you've got a deadline that's coming up and you just need five more minutes. Sometimes that can help. Now, what I do have to be careful with is that there are some really great educational apps, but my kids get super addicted to them. So even if I set a timer for 10 minutes and I tell them, hey, you can play this really fun reading app for 10 minutes and then when the timer goes off, you're done. They still end up throwing a huge hissy fit when I take it away from them. And that's kind of the nature of technology. And that's why I don't like to incorporate a lot of tech into our lives when at all possible. I'm not trying to, you know, hide my kids from the world, although I feel like maybe I kind of am doing that too. And I do want them to become very capable adults where they learn how to use technology. But right now in this season, it can be really hard, especially when they're toddlers, to incorporate tech into their life and then see the ramifications of that on their attention spans and their ability to have creative play. And also to see the way they throw super temper tantrums when you take it away from them. Even if they've got warnings, even if you've given them plenty of time to adjust to that, there's still always this weird addiction when it comes to technology. So I feel like that's something helpful to keep in mind, especially as a work at home mom, not because I'm placing judgment, but because whenever you utilize technology, there's always a cost. So you are buying yourself 10 minutes, but maybe you're costing yourself a five minute temper tantrum and having to work through that. So keep in mind that while it would be really easy to fall into the technology trap as a work at home mom, sometimes the cost is not worth it. So if you need ideas on some really cool toys, make sure you check out one of my previous videos that we just did where we talked about some toys that I love for my children that keep them busy and keep them active without just setting them in front of screens. So I hope that can be helpful for you, but I hope that you check it out. So up until this point, we've talked about mostly technology, but I think that this is a really good time to pause and talk about some tools that are also really helpful as a work at home mom. Now this is a very tiny tool, but it is very powerful. So powerful that I bought one for my husband too. So that's worth knowing about. It is called the Loop Earbuds. And if you've not looked into these at all, I highly recommend you check it out. They are just teeny tiny little earbuds and they are noise canceling above a certain decibel, which makes it really helpful as a work at home mom because you can still hear your kids. You can hear them when they're complaining and fussing and all that kind of stuff. 
you can hear when you need, need to intervene, but it can cancel out a lot of just the extra noise that comes with kids. Sometimes you really need to focus. I don't use them all the time. I don't use them as a crutch and walk around with them all day long, but I know that there are some days where I'm going to be really on edge for whatever reason. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm just not feeling good. I'm super on edge. Having some earbuds that kind of cancel out just the extra noise, even the fun noise that can really grate on you can be a huge benefit. So I highly recommend that you check out these earbuds. They have been a lifesaver many times um, throughout my work at home years. And I think they are a great tool to have in your tool belt. Okay. And finally, we're going to talk about smart home devices. The things about managing a home is that there are a lot of moving pieces and a lot of things are all based on each other. I'm sure you figured this out. You can't do this until you do that. You can't go empty the dryer until you clear out a laundry basket and you can't go down and do the washing until you go up and do this other thing in the kitchen. Everything plays off of each other, but having a couple tools in place can really be helpful in your home to help keep things a little bit more sane. One of my favorite tools, which sounds so stupid, but my washer sends me an alert when it's done washing and then I know that I can switch it over to the dryer. It's so basic, but I tend to forget that the washer, it's out of sight, it's out of mind, it's not in a place that I regularly frequent and if I don't have the alert, I will forget about it and it will be all day and I'll be like, oh my goodness, I forgot to switch it over. So sometimes just having a reminder come through on my phone that the washer is done and I need to go switch the laundry can help keep me on track with my household management projects without being super invasive, of course. A few other apps and tools that I really like to have on hand as a work at home mom is AnyList and the Instacart app. I use these in conjunction to plan out my meals and do all of my grocery shopping. I'm gonna be doing some videos on this here pretty soon because I think these are two really powerful tools as you are a busy work at home mom who's also trying to plan nutritious meals for her family. But in the meantime, keep in mind that I really love those apps and you should look into them. And finally, another tool that I really have enjoyed having in our home lately has been our Bose speaker. Now, what I really like about this speaker is the fact that it has preset channels that you select and the buttons are on the top, really easy for the kids to remember and find and access. Now, I guess this could be a problem if your kids are gonna be switching between the channels all day long, but it has been really fun to preset the channels so that my children can turn on music whenever they want throughout the day they're pre-selected by me, so we know that you know we're not going to end up with some crazy, weird, off-the-wall channel that I've never heard of in music I don't understand or feel appropriate is for my children. But with those preset channels, they can go through and select, okay, well, today now we want to listen to the Disney channel, or now I'm feeling like I want to listen to VeggieTales, or ironically, one of their favorite channels is the Celtic Sea Shanties channel, which... We'll just leave it there. That one's really funny to listen to your kids sing because some of those songs are just insanely hilarious, but it's one of their favorite channels and they have a lot of fun with it. But when you get to pre-select the channels, you get to choose what you're okay with them listening to. And then they get to have a little bit of freedom and select their music throughout the day. Having music playing in the background, as long as they don't let it get too loud, has been a really nice way to set the tone in our home, to keep it peaceful, to change the environment. When people are getting really fussy, you can turn on some music and kind of change things up a little bit. And it's been a really great tool in the house that I've had for a really long time and didn't realize how I wanted to utilize it until just recently. And when we got it set up and got the channels all set up for the kids, it's been a lot of fun to see what they're in the mood for, what they enjoy listening to, and even have them ask for specific things as well. All right, there you go, fellow mamapreneurs. That was a really speedy run through of some of my favorite apps and tools that I utilize to help keep my toddlers distracted while also increasing my productivity just a little bit. We have touched on some other apps before, so if you're looking for some more in-depth to-do list apps and whatnot, I highly encourage you to go check out some of our previous playlists where we've got some really fun tools that can help you stay organized, stay on task, or maybe even limit your distractions because goodness knows there's a lot of those happening these days. So until next time, I hope that you have an amazing day. I hope that you're able to make memories with your kids, make advancements in your business, and I really look forward to spending some time with you next time at the Mom Desk Club. Bye.